So when we bought this property, it had everything we were looking for. The only thing we felt it lacked in was trees. We didn't feel like there was enough wooded area when we bought this. So what we decided to do on this east side of our property, we decided to replant it into trees to try to turn it back into more of a, a forest area. But instead of just planting like regular shade trees, I wanted to pick a tree that was gonna be beneficial to wildlife. So I decided on the, uh, the chestnut tree. In fact, it was the Dunstan chestnut tree that we've planted. That's an American Chinese hybrid, supposed to be blight resistant. And we started growing those from seed and we planted our first trees back in 2017. We planted 37 trees. We bought a 25 pack of these tubes. So we could only put 25 in tubes. So out of all of those first in our first year, I think we still got about 18 of those still alive and they were only in tubes. We didn't have any trees survive that was in outside of a tube. So you gotta understand we're planting these little seedlings that are only like a foot to 18 inches tall. And these tubes drastically improved the success rate. So a couple years later, we ended up planting more, planted more the next year. And we planted, the last ones we planted, I think were in 2020. And we've got somewhere just under 100, between 90 and 100 chestnut trees planted on our property along this side. And then we've actually planted some in the back as well. So this section of nine trees right here, um, this is part of our original planting of trees. And you can see some of them are fairly tall. That's probably pushing, uh, getting close to 12 foot tall right there. And some of these have been replanted. I'd say probably two thirds of these are probably original. And the, the growth rate changes really depending on the shade. So the ones that are closest to the trees seem to grow the slowest. We've had the best luck with the ones that are out in the open, get the most sunlight. So these tree tubes, they're designed to stay on here for at least seven years to protect the tree. At the beginning, they have to be supported. I've got a T post on this one. We've got some bamboo stakes. We've got some cut off pieces of PVC pipe, whatever we can stake in the ground to hold it up. And it has to stay staked until the tree's big enough to support itself. At the very beginning, it grows up so fast it can't hold itself up. Now at about five years, these trees are to the point where I could probably take these posts out and they'll stay up on their own. This one back here is actually, it's not attached no more to the post. It's completely detached, it's holding itself up. So that seems to be the thing. About five years, you can finally start taking the, the posts out and um, just let them grow without being staked anymore. So this one's held up with a bamboo stake and they don't work very well at all. Um, but you can see there's a tree inside of here. I had several people say that they thought most of these tubes were empty, but there's actually trees living inside of here. You have to have the light shining right to be able to see it. But uh, out of all these trees out here, there's probably only a couple empty tubes. Sometimes you'll have a deer come up and they'll hit it with their antlers and they can actually get the tree tube to, to come off of the tree. And that's basically what's happened here. And you can see it's immediately branched out. See how wide those branches are? That, that's what the tree tube's good for, is it, is it keeps it from making branches until it gets to the top. It keeps it one continuous long tree until it reaches the top of the tube. So uh, to put a tube back over the top of this one, I'm gonna have to clip these branches off and then slide a tube over it. So all the ones you see that are falling over are all the bamboo stakes. The bamboo stakes didn't work out. I won't buy those again. This tree right here, one of our best performers. This thing is probably 15 foot tall, planted I think in 2019. It grew like six foot the first year. It actually came all the way out of the tube the first year. So this thing has grown, you know, about five feet a year to get that tall. And it's already got a second tree right here that's growing out of the trunk right there. Yeah, so it's crazy. Sometimes you get some that grow slow and sometimes you get some that grow fast like this one. So in this section up here, I counted a total of 55 places that we've planted trees. And there's three that are dead and, or missing. And 31 of them are up and out of the tube. So they're at least five foot tall. So I think that's pretty good. You gotta keep in mind that a lot of these were planted in 2019 and 2020. Um, so a lot of these are only two, three years old on this area. So this area here is part of our original planting as well. There's some in the back over there and then there's some of the ones that are planted further down that were planted later, but you can see all these taller ones right through here. These are all original 
2017 five-year-old trees. They're all, they're all probably at least nine foot tall. And this one back here is our biggest one right here. It actually has chestnut burrs on it. Um, it had three on it. Hopefully they're all still there. But it's got burrs, which is what chestnuts come in. Pull that down. So that is a chestnut burr. And there's a couple more up here toward the top. I'm gonna have to get a ladder or try to shake them off of here. We're gonna try to open them up, see if we got our first chestnuts. So those burrs were green and they're turning a yellow as they get ready to open up. So probably the worst thing about these chestnuts is the outside of these are like little needles. They will poke you. And I don't seem to have gloves in the truck, but we'll take these back and get some gloves. We'll open these up. Hopefully you guys can see just how pokey those are. So you can see that one's got a line and it's starting to open up. All right. So that is unfertilized nuts in there. And I'll open it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Can you see? There was another one. So there was three little chestnuts inside of there, and they are not fertilized. So unfertilized nuts. That's pretty common the first year. It actually may take a few, a couple more years before we start getting fertilized chestnuts. Same thing, there is three unfertilized nuts in there. So that's kind of what I expected. I, I would have been surprised if we would have got some the first year. This one is the biggest though. If there's a chance, it's probably this one. If I can get it to open. All right. Once again, we have an unfertilized nut, you can see. So all these all had three nuts on the inside and they are all unfertilized. So we got our first chestnut burrs in five years. We planted that tree five years ago. There's just not enough pollen in the orchard for those to produce chestnuts. So I think a couple more years we'll have, we'll have more mature trees producing pollen, producing those burrs, and we'll end up getting chestnuts. I think in the next couple years, we'll get our first chestnuts. So we're close, we're really close. Um, so I know we only went to two areas. I only showed you like two of the bigger areas that we planted chestnuts. It's nice and open where you can see them. And there's, there's more that's planted back behind the equipment. There's actually some planted back here in the woods. You can maybe see a couple tree tubes back there across the pond. I know those in the sunlight, those tree tubes that are on the edge of the pond in the sunlight, those are still alive. There's several in the woods back there. I don't know whether they are. I haven't gone and checked them, but I know that there's less success rate in the shade. Anytime you plant in the woods like that, you're gonna have a lower success rate. Best success is gonna be out here in the open. But uh, yeah, I didn't go everywhere today. I'm not gonna go to every tree and, and check them. But overall, it looked like from the ones that we have planted that we looked on that side of the property, there's probably only about six, maybe eight that need to re be replaced. And I'm sure there's, there's probably some back here in the woods that need replaced. So we're gonna end up planting some more chestnut trees this fall. We're gonna start growing them from seed again for next year. So if you guys are interested in trying to grow some Dunstan chestnut trees from seed, I buy my seeds from, I think it's a Pike, it's Chestnut Ridge of Pike County, Illinois. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description. Not sponsored in any way. This is where I buy my seeds from. They posted on their Facebook page, they're gonna start selling chestnuts Friday, October 22nd. So next Friday, they'll be selling chestnut seeds on their website. So I'll leave a link to their website in my video. And then also maybe leave a link to a couple videos of growing these from seed, germinating them. You gotta, you gotta cold stratify them, you gotta put them in some moist peat moss, put them in your fridge for like three months, and then they'll grow a tap root and they'll be ready to be planted outside. So I'll, I'll leave a couple videos on the process and then also leave a link to the tree tubes as well. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be buying some here next week myself and I'm gonna germinate some more of them this year and replant any of the empty tubes 
and I also sell them. I, that's what I do. I, I also sell them for five bucks a piece and that kind of pays for the pot and the soil and gets me a couple bucks for the plant. And then I'll sell the tubes for cost, like five dollars a piece, so I can sell a tree and a tube to people I know for like ten bucks. And uh, people want them for food plots and people want them just for trees, but they're really good for deer and wildlife. And um, I can't wait for that to happen here. It'll be great when I can sit out here and just watch a bunch of deer out here eating these chestnut trees. I think it'll be fantastic. So, or eating the chestnuts off the trees. Not, I don't want them eating the tree. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to kind of share where they were. I've had people ask throughout the year and I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted it to be mowed around before I, I did an update. Plus it's the perfect time now for if people are interested, then they can go get the seeds here and start uh, planting their own. So that's gonna be it for today's video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.